Meantime, here's another look at the results for Allegheny County DA Stephen Zappala, the projected winner. Andy Sheehan and Ross Gadotti are at the DA candidate selection night gatherings. We're going to get first to Andy Sheehan, who is at Zappala's victory party, which has become even more celebratory in recent moments there. Andy. Well, just a little while ago, Stephen Zappala was up on the podium making his victory speech for his seventh term as Allegheny County uh, District Attorney. And very tellingly, he was introduced by Republican, former Republican Governor Tom Corbett, who convinced Zappala to run as a Republican after Zappala was defeated in the Democratic primary by Matt Dugan. And what you saw here tonight was a coalition of Democrats and Republicans, but especially old school centrist Democrats. Uh, labor leaders were here, old Democratic calls, uh, people in law enforcement and the police unions were here in support of Steve Zappala. Now, he ran a campaign and was successful in convincing people that uh, his opponent, Dugan, was soft on crime, where he was the law and order candidate. Uh, that he made crime the big issue, uh, which it is across the country in races, across the country uh, in cities where they've had the same sort of problems that we've had coming out of the pandemic. So Paolo referenced uh, crime downtown, crime on the south side, youth gun violence, uh, the homeless situation. Uh, he, he actually took on Mayor Ganey during the campaign, saying that Ganey uh, had not been reporting uh, criminal statutes downtown and even threatened to sue him. Uh, and so in, the, in his victory speech here, uh, Zapala thanked the voters of Allegheny County uh, for coming together and supporting him as a Republican and maintaining his Democratic support. First and foremost, I want to I thank the voters of Allegheny County. I we got a lot of work to do. Uh, I had a chance to talk to some, some of the guys from the media earlier, and uh, one of the first order of business is to explore the development of a municipal authority for uh, the South Side and the South Side Flats. Schumann Center, I, I think the name Schumann should disappear. I think the concept of a penitentiary in and of itself, that should disappear too. And what I'm proposing and what, we're, what we've already put into effect is the expansion of mental health court, the expansion of drug court, and then a component which is very highly uh, part of the educational process. And what is interesting here is that Democrats, about 30 percent, maybe 35 percent of Democrats cross party lines to vote for Steve Zappala. Those same Democrats, or not as many of those Democrats, actually cross the line to vote for Joe Rocky. And this was, I guess, a testament to Zappala being a lifelong Democrat and uh, having support that he had garnered over six terms as district attorney, and he will retain that office.